Hello, and welcome back. If you spent some time searching for and dissecting seeds, I'm sure you've noticed that some can be very hard to open, while others can be quite a bit easier to open. The seeds that are hard to open only have one cotyledon surrounding the baby plant. These are called monocotyledons. Mono comes from the old Greek word meaning one, and you know cotyledon comes from the old Greek word meaning cup. So monocotyledon means one cup. The seeds that open easily, like the pinto bean seed we looked at, do that because there are two cotyledons, and two can be easily separated. That type of seed is called a dicotyledon. Di comes from the old Greek word meaning twice or two, so dicotyledon means two cups. Let's take a closer look at these corn seeds and see if we can classify them. It looks like there is one cotyledon there. What would you classify it as? That's right, it's a monocotyledon. Now, let's check out these coffee beans. If you look closely, you can see how there's a line down the center of the bean. It's as if it has two cotyledons. How would you classify them? Yes, they are dicotyledons. Now, let's take a look at some plants that have grown from monocotyledon and dicotyledon seeds. This plant here is a corn plant. It grows from that corn seed we looked at earlier. Do you Remember if the corn seed is a monocotyledon or a dicotyledon? That's right. It had that one thick cotyledon. So it is a monocotyledon that is not easy to separate. When we look at our baby corn plant, the very first leaf is a single leaf. This started as the cotyledon. Over here are some cucumber plants. Cucumbers are dicotyledons. I see two leaves here. Each leaf came from each side of the cucumber seed. Look here. This is the next leaf that grew after the first two. We call plants like the corn plant a monocot, and we call plants like the cucumber plant, a dicot. We can continue making lots of observations about each of these plants that would tell us more characteristics for monocots and more characteristics for dicots. Let's take a closer look. What do you notice about this leaf? It is long and thin, isn't it? The veins run side by side. Do you remember what those veins are called? They're parallel veins. The veins on this plant run in every direction. Do you remember what those are called? They are reticulate veins. Monocots have leaves that have parallel veins, and dicots have leaves with reticulate veins. Another characteristic is that monocots always have tap roots, and dicots always have fisticulate roots. Monocots also have petals in groups of three, and dicots have petals in groups of four or five. 
Now it's your chance to go out and observe your own plants and flowers and see if you can classify them as monocots or dicots. We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.